Listen up. The views, thoughts, and opinions expressed in this podcast belong solely to the podcast participants and not to any participants, employer, organization, committee, or other group or individual. This podcast is for entertainment purposes only. You know, for fun. So lighten up and enjoy. <laughs> Stomping Jen. What's your name? Sawtooth Frank. Gobble gobble. <laughs> gobble gobble. No, um, no, I have a real name. It's Brad. You have a real name? Yeah, remember we switched to that? <clears throat> Who we we on real names? We gave up the sawtooth jig. Huh. No more sawtooth. You can, you can always still, be sawtooth. I'll always be sawtooth to, to you, me. huh? That's sweet. You can call me Sawtooth if you want. All right. Um, this is our Thanksgiving spectacular episode. Spectacular. We're going to open with a Thanksgiving mystery after we play the intro. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Creamy, delicious ideas without the creepy truck. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Stomping Jen. Well, it's that time of year. It's that time of year for the Thanksgiving spectacular. <laughs> so spectacular. No, it's terrible. Why? Huh? Why? I don't know. We haven't done any spectacular type episodes in a while. I Every episode is spectacular. Well, Sawtooth Frank. Well, I have nothing spectacular planned. Oh, well, that's a different story. Yeah, it's a different story altogether. So mm-hmm. um, I mentioned that we have a genuine Thanksgiving mystery on our hands here. Yeah. Yeah. So I got a package in the mail today from Palo Alto, California. It was addressed to me. And it contains like two pounds of coffee, dried coffee from uh, Pete's Coffee. I have no, it has a name on it. And I Googled the name of the person who sent it. They seem to be a real person. Um, they speak a different language. They have, a, look, looks like some kind of facebook page where they sell things so all all i can think of is that they're a listener of the podcast who knows which is why i'm mentioning it here are you gonna reach out to them no and ask them any questions no why would i do that it's not every day you get like two pounds of ground coffee in the mail it could be poison though don't you think i don't know what it is well i'm afraid to eat it i'm not gonna touch it i'm frightened seems like a waste of coffee anyways that's the mystery you didn't order something else and they like put it in two pounds of coffee? No. the <laughs> Did the re- you sift through the coffee grinds to find out if there's anything in there? No. I ordered nothing else, but you're right. I, I guess there some, could be something hidden in there. But why would they send it to me? I don't know this person. There's no card in it. There's like nothing. So weird. I don't know what to do. What was that just then? I was going to cough. I was going to turn my head and cough. Hold on. I'm going to do that right now. <clears throat> you know they can still hear it. I know. I didn't mute. But um, <laughs> you just made it weird. I was going to try to do it on the download. So I don't know what to do about this whole situation. Um, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Do I just throw it in the trash? Uh, I mean, or you could use it as coffee. The person's first name is Elsa. Let it go. And they live in Palo Alto, California. So I'll say, Elsa, if you are a listener of the podcast and you sent us this coffee, thank you. But a note or something, like, yeah. send me a private message. Like, give me something. This is just strange. Please, Elsa. So strange. I beg you. Let it go, Elsa. Let, let it, it go. go. All right. Anyways, that's a Thanksgiving mystery. Thanksgiving mystery. I don't know what to do with it. I'll be... 
thinking about it for days and days and days. <laughs> Nothing like a mysterious package showing up at your door. Seriously. Um, <clears throat> well, there are a lot of scam things going around the internet. Okay, but this isn't a scam. Like related to Christmas. No, I'm just, uh, I'm telling a different story. Oh, go ahead. I'm like shifting gears here. Shift. In relation to strange things on the internet and abroad. What scam are you world. familiar with? Well, like, you know, well, like, so I've been getting these ads for these sweaters for mature women. Well, you are a mature woman. <laughs> but like, they're kind of cool sweaters, right? So anyways. Are they made by Sag Harbor? No, they're not Sag Harbor. Um, anyways, We've talked about this before. That's the most unfortunate name for a yeah. line of clothing for middle-aged to later-aged women. Yeah. Facts. Anyways, go ahead. So anyways, I've been getting these ads for months for these like sweaters that are kind of interesting. And like, you know, Facebook, Instagram, like they just fill your feed full of like all sorts of things geared towards you. And it's irritating. Anyways, long story short, um, I was on Instagram and I saw a picture from the same company of a woman wearing like a black wraparound sweater holding a Starbucks coffee. And the thing that I didn't realize is that about all this internet scamming stuff is like if you see models on the internet and they don't have heads, like it's only like torso down. Okay. That's like sus, right? So, <clears throat> Head, so headless models are sus. Yeah, like they're real people, but they could be AI. Who the fuck knows now with all this AI garbage going around? So, so I saw this one ad. I was like, okay, whatever. And I kept going, you know, as you do. As you do. And then, like, two or three stories later, it was like literally the same picture, but like the sweater was like this beige color. And the coffee cup that the woman was holding was blank. It was just like a white cup. I was like, that is super sus. And it was like two different separate companies. So then like, I went down a rabbit hole on the internet. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And there are like these scam like companies that set up and try to sell you shit. And like you either get it and it's shitty quality and it just doesn't look like what you order or you never get it. It's just, it's crazy. Isn't that what Amazon is for? Well, Amazon has these unverified sellers on their sites too, right? I like know, you but at least you can, like from China. at least you can return shit when you buy it on Amazon. Yeah. Well, apparently like if you buy things through like PayPal or whatever, they have like consumer protections on some of that stuff. Like if they try to give you. So what I found out is like from other friends is that um, I had a friend who ordered like a crib from a scam website, like $900. And like never ship. They got their money back because they ordered it through PayPal. Like somebody else told me a story about how they ordered something and it was supposed to be like this. And it was like a shoddy like representation of what they actually thought they ordered. And she got her money back too. I would never buy a crib sight unseen from the internet. Maybe that's just me. Well, you're, I would you're never a different do generation. It. Yeah. Everything you buy on you the internet. You think these um, Xennials or whatever the fuck they're called just buy shit off the internet? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But now, and then right before we got on here, like my friend was asking about a scam where they get a text message where it says like their shipment can't be fulfilled. You need to click on this link so that you can fix your address or something. Yeah. Yeah. Those are scammers That's scammy. too. Anything that asks you to click on a link is scammy. It's just like, they're all fucking scammy. But I just don't see how this coffee delivery could be a scam. It's not asking me for anything. No, it's very sus. You think they just targeted our podcast and sent us coffee to it in the hopes that I'll go and like click on the profile? I don't know. I don't. Maybe you ordered like something completely different from somewhere else, and you just got a two pound bag of coffee. That was my point. Is like maybe you ordered something, and instead you got a two pound bag of coffee. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't order something on the DL? Yeah, I'm very sure I didn't order something on the DL. Did you order anything from Amazon? No. Did you order any coffee from Amazon? No. I don't know what it is. Anyways, it's Thanksgiving this week. We're recording this on... Did we get away from the topic? Yeah, I don't want to talk about scams anymore. This is the Thanksgiving <laughs> Spectacular. Mm -hmm. Good luck with your scams. What are you looking at? My watch is telling me it's time to record. Oh, okay. Well, um, what was I going to say? It's Thanksgiving. 
What are you giving thanks for this year? You know what? I didn't even have a list of things I'm thankful for. No list? No, I didn't no come list. up with you a list. You have to do it on the fly, yeah. like I do all the time. What? Well, I didn't even have that in here as something as a, we were going to talk about, I but I suppose know. we should. Mm. I don't think I'm thankful for anything. That's not true. What are you thankful for? Um, I'm thankful about... I'm grateful my kids are doing so I didn't say grateful. Great. I said thankful. I'm thankful that my kids are great. Our I'm thankful kids are great. that our kids are great. Yeah. All right. I can agree to that. Hold on. What else are you thankful for? You. Me? Yeah. What am I? What have I ever done? Oh, my God. Seriously. You do all the things. I okay. mean, I do half the things, and you do the other half of the things. Okay. Although you did tell me all weekend you were going to vacuum the house, and that never happened. It didn't happen. It, it did not happen. I was busy doing other stuff. <clears throat> like going to stuff with the kids, spending time with the kids. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. The older I'm getting, the less focused I am on shit like um, keeping our house clean. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't seem as important to me no i could care less no but we do need to keep the house a modicum of clean why uh because you can get sick if your house is not clean oh can you yeah we could have a sick house yeah all right what else are you thankful for um that's it just two things i mean lots of things oh i'm thankful for my tribe of people and my friends they're all great i love them all Okay. Yeah. All right. That's good. Yeah. I don't have a tribe. Yes, you do. I don't. I have no one. That's not true. Outside of this family. You have people. No, I have no people. Yes, you do. No. I'm alone. A loner. Hunted. Despised. Treated like an animal. No. Yeah. You know, I overheard you on your work call the other day and you said, I'm like Ed Wood. What did you mean by that? I it's been I forgot about it till just now. All right. Well, Ed Wood, whenever he recorded something, was not interested in editing it or scrutinizing it at uh-huh. all to see if he accomplished his objectives. Yeah. So whenever I read emails, uh, somebody like puts an email in front of me to look at mm-hmm. and approve, I just go, Looks good. Send it. I read it once. It looks fine to me. Yeah. And so I say, just send it. But thankfully, <clears throat> I have um, associates in the union who are way more... Savvy. Communications-minded and messaging-minded than me. And they're smarter than me. And they have more patience than me. Mm-hmm. You know, I just want to just send everything. Send it? I don't think too much about... The goals, whether they're errors, it's kind of weird. I very much, as long as the key pieces are there, I don't mm-hmm. think too much about the details. So mm-hmm. That's what I meant. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Anyways, and everybody knows not to send anything just based on me saying it looks good. It looks good. Mm-hmm. That's all. Yeah. That's what I meant by that. That's what you meant by that. Yeah, you're creeping my call, huh? No, I just overheard you saying, and when you said you that you're like Ed Wood, I and perked my uh, ears yeah. up. All right, what else are you thankful for? Art. You're thankful for art. Okay. You thought of that just because you looked at the walls. I did. I looked at the wall, and I was like, oh, look at that amazing art. Okay, what else? <clears throat> Music. All right. That's a pretty good list. Yeah. What are you thankful for? Oh man, for real? I didn't write it down. I tend to have, I have to think about these things. You know, on the fly. I don't do on the fly. I'm, I'm not a, an on the fly I'm, guy. I'm an off the cuff human. I know you are. <laughs> You're always ready for a party. You'll don't think about anything. <laughs> Fun time. What did Jimmy call you? What? Our brother-in-law, like Fun time Jenny or something? What? Jenny Fun Time? I don't know what you're talking about. That was your nickname back in the day. And back in the day. Yeah, Jenny Fun Time or something like that. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Anytime, Jenny. All right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. What am I thankful for? Um, hmm. Well, I'm obviously, I'll get serious for a minute here. I'm obviously thankful for my family. You said that. Mm-hmm. So I'm copying you. 
I am thankful for you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Thankful for you. You look cute in that hat right now. Oh, my God. Listener, Snopping Jen's wearing some kind of knit cap. I'll take a picture and I'll post it. Um, some kind of knit cap with a braid sticking out. I like braids. You do? Yeah, I do like braids. I like a woman with a braid. Oh, there we go. Remind me to tell that story about my hair this morning. What story about your hair this morning? <clears throat> so, I have big hair. You do? And so, uh, Space Unicorn was sitting next to me and was like, you have a knot in your hair. So, I... Got upset, so I twirled it up in a bun, and I stuck it together with my hair. Yeah, and it just stayed there. It just stayed there, and they were fascinated. And then you caught wind that this happening, and you were like, how does it just stay there? I'm like, I don't know. It's my hair. Yeah. Um, I don't know how it does that. Mine doesn't do that. My hair's pretty long now. Well, because your hair is thin. Like, yeah. not thin. It's, um, well, it is thin. It's straight, is what I'm trying to it's say. It's like straw. No, it's not like straw. Oh. But my hair is like straw, but like curly straw. Yeah. Anyhow. All right. Uh, what did I say? You. Family, me. So I was thankful for family, for you. Um, the dog, because she gets me to go outside. We're not talking about you anymore. Sorry. We're that was another thing I'm thankful for. I was thinking about her. Um, hmm. I'm thankful for, I guess, my relative good health right now. Mm-hmm. I've been thinking about death a lot lately because my father died recently. So I feel okay that at least right now my health is good. But I know that could change at any minute. So I'm trying to be thankful for things in the moment. Mm-hmm. That's all. Um, let's see. Uh, thankful I can afford food, heat. I'm not particularly struggling on those things right now. Mm-hmm. So that's good. I'm thankful for the fact that um, there wasn't a red wave in the November elections Mm -hmm. and that it seems like sanity prevailed when it came to people making a decision between supporting uh, Trump-endorsed fascists and the alternatives. Mm Mm-hmm. The alternatives weren't always Democrats, right? The alternatives sometimes were um, Republicans. Republicans. Right, but I'm really, really glad that we are where we are right now politically. I mean, things might continue to get bad, but I feel like we at least put the brakes, even if temporarily, on our... Uh, careening towards fascism in this country. So, uh, so thankfully, thankfully that red wave never happened and it's a different, now we have a different political conversation and considerations for 2024. So, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, thankful for that. Um, what else? Now I'm thankful for my friends, even though they're few and far between. Mm -hmm. I don't have many. Mm Mm-hmm. It's a small group, very small group. It might be zero. Oh my God. So to the extent that it, whatever it is, I'm thankful for it. Mm-hmm. Um, what else am I thankful for? I guess I'm part of a union. I'm thankful for my union. I'm always, you know, when, as it relates to work, I'm always grateful for the fact that I have a union. I guess that's kind of like having a group to belong to, right? Your union? Yeah. Yeah. They're people who have your back. Yeah. Right? So I'm grateful for them. Um, What else? I don't know. I'm grateful for TV. (laughs) Why are you laughing? I love TV. I know you do. Um, No, it's really nice at night to sit down when the day is done have a cup of tea and just disappear into these alternative worlds. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. Cause this world sucks. Right. <sighs> is that why I love TV so much? Escapism. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of it is escapism and distraction. Yeah. So I like that. Um, TV. I'm grateful for podcasts. Mm-hmm. I listen to so many podcasts. I, I learned how you have 
anytime. Because I drive. I pick people up. I go here. I go there. I listen to them when I'm walking. Listen to them when I'm doing housework. But I learn so much and I'm entertained so much by them. So I like podcasts. That's enough, yeah, right? Sure. Is that enough to be thankful for? Absolutely. For this Thanksgiving? That sounds great. All right. That's it. Um, speaking of Thanksgiving, I like to talk about this a little bit every year. Is that this whole thing that we think of as Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. it's a myth. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. What did you know about that? I don't know anything about it. You tell me. Well. Tell me what you know. There's there's the story, right, that we're all taught and told in history. And it's white people's history, right? <clears throat> Colonizing white people history. That um, the, quote, pilgrims landed in Plymouth um, somewhere around the 1600s, right? Maybe 1621, somewhere around there. Um, and that they were struggling and that they made friends with the Native Americans at the time who were in the area and that the Native Americans um, joined them for this, this wonderful feast to celebrate their friendship and the harvest and it was all peachy keen. Yeah. Right? That's a story that we're all taught, right? But there's a... But that's a myth. That's a myth. It's the not really... The whitewashing of Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's literally the whitewashing of Thanksgiving. That's not actually what happened. Yeah. I mean, what little I know from talking to people on this podcast <laughs> um, is that um, the celebration of harvests was something that um, indigenous people on this continent has ce celebrated f for thousands of years, as long as they've been here, mm -hmm. right? So this is by no means um, anything that's new or was done um, when the the pilgrims showed up here, right? So <clears throat> the first Thanksgiving, so to speak, um, was not celebrated in 1621. That's mm -hmm. one of the myths, right? Indigenous people have been uh, celebrating uh, Thanksgivings for a long time, right? So... Um, and they're not, and they're not always celebrated once a year. Right. Right. So, There's multiple yeah. feasts. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is, um, the people who came across the sea, um, were not pilgrims, mm -hmm. right? Uh, they didn't refer to themselves that way. And what uh, we think of as, as pilgrims are typically religious, um, Protestants. Well, people who travel for, for religious, religious region, reasons, right? Freedoms. Yeah. Um, and maybe we can think of them that way, but they didn't call themselves that. Right. Right. Um, they called themselves um, saints and separatists, right? So they really, they moved over here for really political reasons. What's a separatist? Well, separatists are people who want to break away from their country. Hmm. Or from whatever thing they belong to, right? And that's what the uh, Plymouth settlers did. <clears throat> they were breaking away from um, the church in England. Mm -hmm. They wanted to come over here and set up their own theocracy. Mm -hmm. So that's what they were doing. They were coming here to set up a theocracy. Great. It wasn't really freedom from... I mean, it was freedom from... Persecution of their... Well, I don't even know if they were being persecuted. Were they being persecuted? That sounds like another myth. Maybe they were be. I, I don't know. But, um, but one thing is for sure. They wanted to come here and set up a religious theocracy. Okay. All right? Which is not the story we've been told. Right. Right. We've been told that they were... Um, just people who were escaping persecution. Um, uh, so, you know, they were not innocent refugees. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. um, and they landed here, um, and they knew they knew this land was inhabited, right? Um, and they knew they were gonna they knew they were gonna come here, and they knew they were going to. Um, attack and try to subjugate the native populations, right? Um, and impose their religious beliefs on the people who lived here. That was part of their mission. 
right? Was it? Yeah, it was. Absolutely was. Um, they, they knew that the land here was inhabited mm-hmm. by um, indigenous people. And they, they tried. To, they were trying to convert them all. Absolutely, they were coming here to impose, <clears throat> and like I said, to impose their beliefs on people and subjugate them. They did not treat Why? the indigenous people well. Why do people feel mm. this need to convert others to their way of thinking? Because we're assholes. That's what we are. We're like territorial um, assholes who can't tolerate uh, differences. Naturally, I mean, you have to. You have to really you have to be intentional, right? About being kind and accepting other people and um, not being a dick. Like that takes effort. Do you know what I mean? So interesting. I don't know. Do you not? Do you not think that? No, I'm just. Thinking about that. It concept. seems like history is full of people being dicks to other people, mm-hmm. right? And fighting with people and trying to take over other people's land, um, enslaving people, murdering people, committing genocide. Like it feels to me like people are just assholes. <clears throat> and to the extent that we're not assholes, like people have to make a decision to not be an asshole, right? Mm. Think about. Think about stuff um, like human rights and who's really um, entitled to a piece of land, for example, or to invent a political system that isn't fascistic, right? We have to make those decisions and think them through. Mm -hmm. And it seems like when we're not doing that, We're not making an intention to not harm other people. Our natural state is to harm people. That's how it feels to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Somebody listening to this may be like, oh, you're full of shit. You know, we're actually, our natural state is to be good and peaceful. Well, show me the fucking evidence. (laughs) I've not seen it. I don't know. It seems like when you let people do whatever the fuck they want, they want to hurt other people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm Mm-hmm. If you disagree with me, fine, listeners. I don't care. <laughs> okay? I hate people, and I hate Thanksgiving, and I oh fucking... Oh, my God. All right. That, took, get... a, that took a turn. All right, let me get back to my list. Um, <laughs> what list? Of myths. Oh, myths. Okay. Yeah, another. Yeah, another myth is that the pilgrims, when they landed, they stepped foot on Plymouth Rock. That never happened. <laughs> Where did they step foot? A sandy beach. Oh, okay. Not like on one specific. Yeah, that's rock. not as cinematic as stepping off a boat onto a rock. I don't think they've ever made a movie about the Plymouth Rock. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah. What's it called? The Rock. <laughs> Can you um, smell what the Rock is cooking? Yeah. Um. And they invent. They invented this whole um, myth about landing on a rock to coincide with some shit in the Bible. What? Yeah, about Peter. Uh, um, Peter the Rock. Peter, Peter, Pumpkin Eater? Is no, that how Peter, that ties into um The Apostle. Peter the Apostle. Peter the Apostle who eats pumpkins. Actually, the Apostle Peter. Um, <laughs> the Apostle. Who, upon which Christ built his church. Oh my God, so fucking cool. But this whole idea of the rock is a symbol in Christianity. For right? real? Yeah, of Peter and the church. And it's likely that these, um, these, these Plymouth, um, these Plymouth settlers created this this lie about landing on landing on this rock and stepping onto it. Um, <clears throat> another myth is that the um, Plymouth settlers, I'll call them the Pilgrims. That's what people think of them as. That they they found corn on their own. That's not what happened. <laughs> they stole corn from the uh, indigenous say. people. Yeah, yeah. When they landed, okay, a few days after they landed, they found a trail. Right, that was clearly right. from uh, in use by indigenous people. They followed it, and uh, they came upon a stash of food, <laughs> and they fucking stole it. Right, and then they came back a few days later. They, so they took it back to their camp, took the corn. They came back um, with a larger group, 
and they raided the area. They dug up graves. What? Yeah. Why? They stole stuff out of graves because they're fucking assholes, these Plymouth settlers, these pilgrims. Right? They don't give a shit about desecrating the graves of indigenous people. So sad. Happy Thanksgiving, people. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, And so the other thing um, is they did- Can't we just eat our turkeys and be happy? No, it's important to talk about this shit. I'm going to tell the truth. Um, and so then they found uh, then they found some Indian uh, domiciles, some indigenous uh, domiciles, and they raided those and stole everything out of there. Um, and these were the Wampanoag people, by the way. Mm-hmm. I want to name them. Um, and there's no evidence that they ever paid these people back for everything they stole. You believe that? Okay, the other myth. Um, let's see. Uh, this whole idea that the pilgrims invited uh, the indigenous people to come join them for a first Thanksgiving is likely bullshit, too. Mm-hmm. Um, the The Wampanoag leaders were involved in uh, diplomatic negotiations. Mm-hmm with the pilgrims at the time to try to, you know, prevent um, war and fighting happening and trying to prevent their people from being massacred massacred by the fucking Europeans. Um, So it's possible that some of those diplomats uh, joined them in some feasts, right? But it wasn't this big symbolic... um, Breaking of bread between Break, yeah that the that the pilgrims initiated <laughs> mm-hmm. that's horseshit mm-hmm. don't believe it uh, and the other the other myth kind of going along with that is that the pilgrims provided all the food for the Indians to right. eat. they yeah. came with nothing for on the Wamp- ships yeah for the Wampanoag to so eat right stupid. yeah it's likely that the if they had this dinner these series of dinners that the Wampanoag people provided them with um, deer mm-hmm. and local fowl. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Let's see. Uh, So, when was the 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 American traditional Christmas uh, Thanksgiving? Like, when was it created? I'm sure, like, it was like I have no idea. Created by proclamation by some president along the way. I don't know. Like, how did it become a celebration? I have no How idea. Did, I didn't well, do that research. You're looking this stuff up. I'm looking at myths. To, well, I want to know wait, about the origins t- of Thanksgiving. Let me just let me tell you what. All right, the myth is that the pilgrims gave to the Wampanoag people turkey, potatoes, berries, cranberry what? sauce, pumpkin pie. That's so ridiculous. Popcorn. Here's what they actually ate. Okay. And it's likely that the Wampanoag people provided most of this mm-hmm. uh, venison. And the historical record says that the Wampanoag people brought five deer, right, mm-hmm. to this diplomatic dinner. Wild fowl. Turkeys are never named. Nobody knows whether or not turkey was actually consumed. It could have been duck. It could have been goose. It could have been pheasant. Any nature of wild fowl. Mm-hmm. Um, they may have had um, dried corn or some kind of corn porridge. And possibly mashed pumpkin. Uh, Other food that they may have eaten, fresh fruits, um, like plums. um, It was Lincoln, by the way. Yeah. Um, But a lot of the stuff, nah. Um, So, (laughs) it it. it was too cold for fish or anything like that at the time. Yeah. So, anyways... And there was no popcorn because the species of corn that pops didn't right. exist. Right. Wait. Okay. That's true? It didn't exist then. Why? Where did popcorn uh, come from? Somebody grew it. I want to know the history of popcorn. Anyways, the other myth is that the pilgrims and Indians became good friends. Right. That didn't happen. Um, yeah. You know, in, in less than a generation, um, the European settlers... Um, had stolen land, um, massacred hundreds, Raved, if not thousands, enslaved, yeah, diseased, hundreds, if not thousands, of indigenous people. Um, you know, the Europeans turned into real shits. Okay, 
So it wasn't good. And um, the other myth that it's important to remember um, to talk about is that Thanksgiving is a is a happy time, you know, for all of us to be together. Well, that's not the case. <laughs> that's not the case. No. Um, I think it's important to remember that this country we live in, yeah, or this landmass we live upon, in in which we celebrate Thanksgiving, there are lots of people here who may not think of it so happily. Mm-hmm. This Thanksgiving, for all the reasons I just explained, mm. the myths, the myths. Okay, mm-hmm. so just remember. Um, no happy Thanksgiving. Don't you but, say that to people. But what is Thanksgiving now? What is it now? It's like a, a time where you have a couple of days off to spend some time with family, yeah, which is saying, always so fun. All I'm saying is if you're going to celebrate Thanksgiving, okay? Yeah. Try Thank- try to try to have the presence of mind that um, some of what we've been told about this holiday is steeped in mythology. There's a darker, um, more pernicious history underneath Thanksgiving that the European colonizers are responsible for. Got it. Okay. Got I'm it. not saying don't get together with your family and enjoy a Thanksgiving meal. It's, I'm not trying to tell you that, listeners. Okay. I'm just saying maybe pause for a moment and reflect upon mm-hmm. what I've just told you. Take a minute. Okay. Acknowledge. These people, listeners, are probably like, fuck you. I'm not listening to your dumb podcast where you go on and you rant against um, colonizers. But hey, look, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to raise some awareness. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Fuck Norman Rockwell. Keep it real. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Those are the myths. That being said. Thank you. Sure. That being said, we're going to. Thank you for sharing. That being said, we're going to. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. That being said, we're going to enjoy a Thanksgiving meal, yeah. right? Uh huh. What's on the menu? Smoked turkey. Yep, smoked turkey from BT's Smokehouse in Sturbridge, Mass. What else? Um, dessert a la Cakes by Pip. We're getting some mini pies. Cakes by Pip is a baker in the town we live in, Belchertown, uh-huh. Massachusetts. Yeah. Um, we're getting some vegan stuff from Pulse Cafe here in Hadley, Massachusetts. Yep. Um, and then I guess I got to make some stuff. We had a request from Ted to make some green bean casserole. Ted is our son. Um, Listeners. And uh, I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. Okay. And some... All right. Pretty standard meal. Stuffing. Yeah. That's good. You wanted cornbread stuffing. Yeah, I do like cornbread stuffing. Yes. That's and really I good. had... A request to make a vegetarian sausage cornbread stuffing. I never saw such a thing. Mm. So I do need to go to the store and get a few items. All right. Okay. Not not so much stuff. All right. Well, sounds like we're having a pretty standard meal. Um, And we're doing pretty standard Thanksgiving fare. But some of the stuff that people do on Thanksgiving is just flat out weird. Like what? Well, I have a whole list of things. Oh, another list? You yeah. have lots of lists today. Yeah. Um, stuffing the turkey. We've done that before. Why do we do it, though? Isn't that weird? No. What do you mean? Like, Let's take a bunch of bread and shove it up the asshole of a turkey and cook it? That's weird. Do you know where that originates from? Stuffing? The practice of stuffing a bird? Probably you put aromatics in a bird. It originates with the Romans. The ancient Romans used to do that. What did they do? They stuffed fowl. They stuffed fowl? Yeah. Where did they stuff fowl? Whatever they could find. They, But anyways, just people. Um, stuffing a turkey increases your chance of getting salmonella. So just watch it. Be careful. Okay. Okay? Uh, this is something interesting that people do on Thanksgiving. It's kind of weird. It's not eating, per se, but they... Bowl with frozen turkeys. What? Yeah. Who is bowling? It's a whole thing. Um, with frozen turkeys. Oh, this shouldn't be surprising. This this weird game was invented in New Jersey. Why is that weird? Because New Jersey's full of freaks. Uh, uh, sorry, New Jersey listeners. Um, Black Friday. 
it's a weird thing that happens around Thanksgiving. Wait, that originated in New Jersey? No, I'm switching. There's a new weird thing. But you didn't say what was the weird thing from New Jersey. Yes, I did. F- bowling with frozen oh, turkeys. I didn't understand that. Sorry. If you weren't checking your phone every five minutes, you could keep up. I haven't touched my phone. I don't know what All you're right. talking about. Okay, well, whatever you're doing every I'm five minutes. literally listening to you. You did not make that clear. Thank you very much. Okay, um, Black Friday is another weird Thanksgiving tradition. It's a Christmas tradition, not really. No, Thanksgiving. it's Thanksgiving. It happens on Thanksgiving sometimes. I think the whole concept of Black Friday <clears throat> is that once you turn the corner after Thanksgiving, you're allowed to start thinking about Christmas. Yeah, I hate Black Friday because it celebrates the consumerism that I hate about the holidays. Mm-hmm. So fuck Black Friday. And fuck Thanksgiving. I like Thanksgiving. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'm sorry. You know what I like about Thanksgiving? What? The parade. Well, this is the other weird thing on the list. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's the Thanksgiving Parade. Why is that weird? Why do we need a parade to celebrate Thanksgiving? It's just a nice thing that they do. Well, I hate parades. Well, you don't have to go to the parade. And these giant balloons that they fly around. So for me, that's like my whole family tradition we watch the parade i don't mean to shit on your tradition we listen to alice's restaurant yeah we make butter cookies all right so you like the parade yeah even though it's weird that we have a parade on thanksgiving i I don't don't know why that's weird because this list why is it any weirder than people watching football all day well, that's the other thing on the list is this <laughs> stupid football watching Uh uh-huh i don't watch football on thanksgiving Uh uh-huh what was your family traditions? Let's see. You used to go for a walk. Um, hide from my father most of the day. Stay out of his way. Um, come to dinner at the last minute. So once the table is set, come there, eat, and then run away as quickly as possible. Before some kind of horrible abuse unfolded. There was no, didn't you go for a long walk or something? That was in later years. I would like, I would go on long walks with my brother Hogshank. Mm-hmm. How come he still gets a code? Huh? Because he doesn't, he's not here to consent to me using oh, his real name. I see, I see, I see. Um, anyways, another weird thing that happens on Thanksgiving is the presidential turkey pardon. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> that's stupid, right? Yeah, that's dumb. Did you hear the names of the presidential pardon turkeys this year? Yeah, Flippy and Jippy. No, Chocolate and Chip. Oh, those are nice names for turkeys. But I don't know why we need to pardon them. They should be beheaded. Let's start a new presidential tradition, beheading the turkeys. It's no more silly or ridiculous than Groundhog's Day. And like they pull out a gopher. (laughs) So well, wait till our stupid. Groundhog Day spectacular episode <laughs> oh, where okay. we where we go through the myths about Groundhog oh, Day and all the weird traditions. All right, uh, the turkey trot. People love to do these little races on yeah. Thanksgiving. That's a little weird. Why is that weird? And then there's this thing about uh, why is it weird? Why do we need to have a race on Thanksgiving? Because people eat a lot of food. <laughs> Maybe they're pre gaming by doing some exercise. That reinforces unhealthy habits around eating. That's true. I mean, but also people make this giant feast and they stuff themselves. Not only do they stuff the turkey, they stuff themselves. Okay, but shouldn't be shouldn't people be allowed to eat without guilt? Yeah, I eat without guilt. It's a bucket of frosting upstairs I'm going to attack when this is over. Well, that bucket <laughs> of frosting is significantly smaller than when you brought it into this <gasps> Did you house. eat more? I've been dipping cashews in it. Are you for real? I told you not to touch it. I couldn't help myself. Are you for real? Yes. Are you really mad? Yeah, actually. Because I told you explicitly not to touch it. I'm sorry. I did that for you, too, by the way. What? Because you can't help yourself. Obviously, even if I tell you not to. You did what for me? I... To help you not eat my frosting. What did you do to help me? I told you not to touch it. But yeah, you touched it anyway. What else did you dip in my frosting? <laughs> really? I really can't believe you ate my frosting. Why? I didn't eat all of it. Mm. Just the bits that were hanging off of the muffins. Those were the best parts. 
There's still lots of frosting on the muffins. Oh, I can't believe you. I don't believe it. Um, <laughs> it's not like I was hiding it. I removed the napkin that you used to try to conceal it from me. <sighs> Listen, it's not your frosting. I said, do you want a cupcake? And you said no. And then they cajoled me into taking some home. And I said, great, I will take them home. And I made it very clear to everybody in the car that this was my cupcake that I was taking home with the frosting. Not to touch it. What can I do to get back in your good graces? Just nothing. All right, let's go on. Another, <clears throat> I'm sorry I ate your frosting. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> um, weird side dishes. Ambrosia. Now, now, listen to this. The thing that you uh, made fun of my grandmother for making is on here. Ambrosia. Yeah, I don't know why you hated my grandmother so much. I didn't hate your grandmother. Um, so, okay, so weird dishes um, like sea foam salad. What the fuck is that? It is lime jello and cream cheese. I'm going to throw up just saying that. And then something called dragon barf, which is pistachios and cherry in a uh, cool whip. What the fuck? That's what my grandmother made. Dragon barf. It's just nasty. It was delicious. No, gross. Um, So those are some weird, those are some weird Thanksgiving traditions. Um, What do you think about that? Whatever. All right. Fine. Um, I had another list here. Let me see if there's anything oh else God, on there. Enough with the list. Uh, turkey bowling. We talked about that. Oh, turducken. This is something weird that people do. They take yeah. a whole duck and they stick it inside of a turkey. No, chicken. And then they stick it into a turkey. Turducken. Oh, they take a duck and they put the duck Or they put inside. the chicken into a duck into a turkey. No, it's you can't put a chicken in a turducken. duck. Turducken. Turkey, duck, ken, Let me read chicken. it. Let me read it. Because I think you're wrong. A deboned chicken is stuffed into a duck. Yeah, that's what I said. Which is then stuffed into a deboned turkey. That's what I just Which is said. then stuck into a deboned Jennifer. Oh, my God. A gen turducken. <laughs> what, isn't there like also like a cake version of that? Like a pie? Oh, yeah. A pie. A pie cake in. Pie cake in. That's what it is. Yeah, pie cake in. Um, and there's one area of the country that eats crabs instead of turkey. Okay. All right? All right, so that's They it. must be seafaring. Yeah, that's... Uh, I don't think they are, actually. It is San Francisco. Are yes. they seafaring? Yes, they're on the ocean. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, All right. That's it. And then right. the last thing I want to end, the last bit of the Thanksgiving talk. Um, gobble, gobble. Is how to stay safe during Thanksgiving. Did you know Thanksgiving can be dangerous? Yeah. What are the hazards? Fry turkeys and yeah, like well, oven injuries, burning themselves, fire, slicing into their fingers. When fire, right? Kitchen, the turkey. kitchen fires. Yeah. People light candles because they smell good. Mm-hmm. Outdoor deep fryers. Yep. Some idiots take those outdoor deep fryers and bring inside. them inside. Fucking idiots. <clears throat> they burn down their houses yep. and they cut off their fingers. Food. Mm-hmm. Can be dangerous. Oh, if you get sick. Well, choking. Facts. If you don't chew your food. Yeah. Right? Um, you can get poisoned. Right? Yeah. Um, salmonella. If you stuff that turkey too early, right? And you let it sit in the fridge too long, you can get salmonella mm-hmm. in the stuffing. Mm-hmm. Um, if you let your weird uncle fuck the turkey. Yeah. Right? That you didn't eat a visual, thank you. I did move my hips a little. <laughs> That's a little weird. Right? It's if your weird uncle fucks the turkey and ejaculates inside of it when nobody's looking, you could get sick. Right? Gross, I know. Um, Extra <clears throat> protein. Yep. Um, cuts and burns. I just said that. You said cuts and burns? I said cutting your fingers. Yeah, that happened to us. Your mother. Oh, I still feel bad about that to this day. We went to your parents on Thanksgiving and they had an unopened knife set. I was like, you should use the new knives. And your mother wasn't used to cutting with sharp knives. So she went to go cut the turkey, um, sliced through it because it was a brand new knife, like it was butter. And she almost cut her thumb off. Yep. 
Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. That was fun. Right? Um, and then travel can be dangerous. Oh, yeah. You have to be careful, right? Lots of travel. You know, you got car accidents, um, breakdowns, um, drunk drivers, intoxicated drivers. So just be safe when you're doing Thanksgiving, right? And let's not forget pets. Right? Some people may want to feed their pets certain things that we don't normally have around all the time. Mm-hmm. Right during Thanksgiving, um, don't give bones to your pets. Mm-hmm. Turkey bones, don't ever give cooked bones to your pet. Okay, and you don't want it. dogs, especially the fucking cats are typically pretty finicky. Right, cats can eat turkey, I think, but dogs. There's a lot of shit dogs can't eat on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. So, dog listener owners, listen up, listeners. Um, if you have a dog, listen carefully to this. Okay. Uh, don't give your dog um, onions. Yep. Onions leeks. Or leeks. Garlic. Raisins. Dog can't have raisins. Yeah. I think that means wine too. Uh, grapes or chocolate. Okay. This can kill your dog. Yeah. Okay. All right. Those are the safety tips for Thanksgiving. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. So try to be safe. Gobble, All right. gobble. Um, let's see. I did have a game for you. Oh my God. Yeah. I have a, I have a special Thanksgiving edition of, is it Maynard? Oh my goodness. Are you excited? Uh Uh-huh. Hold on. I think I have my game show music in here. You have game show music? Yeah. Um. Is this new game show music? No, it's just, uh, um, okay. Yeah. I think this is it. Let's give it a try. Hold on. Okay. This is the thinking music. Okay. After I ask the question, <laughs> you're gonna play the I'm thinking. gonna play that, and you're gonna think about your answer, okay? Mm-hmm. Before you answer, okay? Mm-hmm. This is oh, the, that I got it right, right? And this is that I got it wrong. Okay, are you ready to play the special <laughs> Thanksgiving edition of Is It Maynard? Yes. Okay, there's only three options, so you're not gonna have a lot of opportunity here. Okay, I'm gonna read a quote. And you're going to tell me, oh God. is it Maynard? Quotes, okay. Or we could play it another way. I could read all three quotes and you tell me which one you think is Maynard. Okay, let's do that. You want to do it that way? Sure. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, quote number one. If you wish to make an apple pie truly from scratch, you must first invent the universe. It's quote number one, okay? Mm-hmm. Quote number two, if you hang out with your friends from school or go to college and then you hang out with your family for Thanksgiving dinner, you change. The room changes you, right? Different conversations, different people. So just be present in where you are with those people. It's quote number two, okay? Where did you get these quotes? Quote number three. Give thanks not just on Thanksgiving Day, but every day of your life. Appreciate and never take for granted all that you have. Okay, quote number one. Do you want me to read it again? No. Okay, do you know which quote is Maynard? Yeah. Which one? Two. (laughs) How'd you know? I don't know. Where did you get these quotes from? Do you want to know what the first quote was? Like, like um, Ina Garden or something, Martha Stewart. You love anything related to Maynard. You really light up. <laughs> you really light up when we play. Wait, who Maynard. was the first one? Okay, if you wish to make an apple pie truly from scratch, you must first invent the universe. Who do you think that might be? I have no idea. I just told you. It's Carl Sagan. Okay. Okay. The next quote is give thanks not just on Thanksgiving Day, but every day of your life. Appreciate and never take for granted all that you have. That's from a woman named Catherine Pulsifer. <laughs> I thought it might fool you because her name was Pulsifer. And that sounds like Pussifer. Oh my god! Right? <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Why? You're just ridiculous. Okay. So let's read the Maynard quote. One Where last did you time. get it from? I just find things. So, okay, here's the final Maynard. Here's the quote, okay? The winning Maynard quote. Jen got it right. And we'll read it. We'll read it for Thanksgiving. 
This is um, this is Maynard's advice about Thanksgiving. Okay, if you hang out with your friends from school or college, and then you go hang out with your family for like a Thanksgiving dinner, you change. The room changes you, right? Different conversations, different people. So just be present in where you are with those people. It's Maynard James Keenan. Mm-hmm. What do you think that means? What's he trying to tell us there? People, what he's telling us, yeah. <laughs> my interpretation of that quote yeah, is tell us. that you as a person relate to others in many different ways and you have a different relationship with your family, your friends, like you're almost like almost like you're a different person like those different aspects of your personality yeah. that are reflected within the conversations that you're having so don't try to be the person that you aren't with the person that you are trying to be with just be with that person and be who you are yeah it's okay to be um mr cool at college right right um, and talk about philosophy and uh, whatever other kind of shit you do at college, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the, the funny thing is like... But I've, when I've, you go home, right? Right. When you go home, um, meet people where they're at, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe your parents um, aren't interested in all that shit you do at college. Right. So just go home and be present and be with your family. I think that's what Maynard's trying to say, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Like... Um, I'm sure when Maynard goes home to his uh, ranch in Arizona and he's at home with his family, his wife and his kids, he's not Mr. Rockstar. Right. Right? Mm Mm-hmm. I think that's what he's trying to say. Yeah. You got to just be, you got to be present with the people you're with. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I think you're right. Okay. But I've seen it in action in the different interviews that he's done, which is why I keep asking you where that interview came from. Okay. Where that quote came from. I have no idea. Mm. I have no idea. I just pulled it off the internet. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Like, for instance, when he goes and does an interview with Joe Rogan, all they do is talk about jujitsu for like hours. Yeah. Because they have that in common. Right. But then, you know, there was that interview that he did with, um, what's that guy's name? Not Bob Odenkirk, the other guy but from Mr. Show. Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I know who you mean. Anyways, and he was like light and funny and like comedic and like it was like a different aspect of his personality altogether. Yeah. I really liked that interview because I didn't know how deeply rooted his identity as a performer was in comedy. Right. I learned a lot from that interview. Yeah. Which is yeah. a sign which is a what which is a sign of a good interview. When somebody right. can bring something out of somebody you, mm-hmm. you just didn't have any idea about. Yeah. I don't know. I enjoyed that. Yeah. But like I mean it's like same with you, right? Like when you know people and when we're alone or when we have a guest or is that my problem that why I don't have any friends is because I refuse to be present? I don't change. You think that could be it? I think you do change with your friends. What do you mean? Oh, the kids and I hear you downstairs when you're playing video games with your friends. Oh, you can hear the stuff I say. Oh, that's <laughs> you're not good. Shouting. You sit down here and you're screaming and shouting and having a good old time. Oh. Does that upset you? No, we laugh about you. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I feel more isolated than ever. Why? You just said you laugh at me. I mean, laugh at that you're having it. Like, it's just funny to listen to you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. All right. Well, I think that's gobble, it. Gobble. Did you have anything else you wanted to uh, say to people? No, have a great one. Be safe. Don't cut off your finger. Okay. Um, Enjoy. Yeah, I guess I'll just say happy Thanksgiving, people. Um, (laughs) Go back and listen to those safety tips that we gave you. Mm -hmm. I want you to survive Thanksgiving, listeners. Okay? Yep. All right. Well, I think we're at the time where we do our special goodbye, Stomping Jen. We all know yours now. It's a catchphrase. No, I'm doing something different. You really? Yeah. Are you going to say gobble, gobble? Gobble, gobble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, how do you say gobble, gobble um, in Turkey? Gobble, gobble. No. Okay. All right, friend. I got to go back to work. I'll trap this. Up. All right. Um, bye now.
this world of ours, ever growing smaller, must avoid becoming a community of dreadful fear and hate. Those who have freedom will understand also its heavy responsibility. That all who are insensitive to the needs of others will learn charity, and that the sources, scourges of poverty, disease, and ignorance will be made disappear from the earth. And that in the goodness of time, all peoples will come to live together in a peace guaranteed by the binding force of mutual respect and love. And love. I shall never cease to do what little I can to help the world advance along that road.